Yo, what's up YouTube? We have got our first major update for Lost Centuria. We've got World 20 dropping, uh, Brawl Mode, and two new characters. Uh, we're just going to jump into this and read through the major update notice, because it's looking pretty sweet, really. There's uh, quite a lot to actually go through. Um, maybe I'll skip over the, the bug fix stuff, uh, or I'll just keep going, alright? Anyways, uh, greetings from Condors. Please read below for details, right? Uh, schedule will be notified separately. It'll, it should be like at rollover or something like that. It should, it should be close to rollover or something, I think. Uh, anyways, number one, new content added, World Tournament after May 27th maintenance. Uh, so yeah, June 3rd, 2 a.m. PDT. Uh, tomorrow, <laughs> uh, I think. The World Tournament begins with the opening of Season 2. So here's the here's what the dual mode's going to look like now. So we'll have the rank battle, norm battle, the, and the brawl battle some in the middle here. And the World Tournament will be unlocked here as well. This is pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. I like the current season ends in two days. Oh. Uh, how to enter. Summoners who achieved gold 5 or higher during the World Tournament period can participate in uh, it, I guess. <laughs> in it. You can only participate once during the tournament period. There is no limit on the number of wins, but the tournament ends when you lose five times. Okay. And then obviously, whoever gets the highest amount of wins is probably going to be the winner, right? Uh, tournament rules. The car level is limited and applied up to level 10. Cards below level 10 will be applied at the current level, and cards above level 11 will be adjusted to level 10. Now see, I don't know what the point of that is, because it just means that people that don't have level 10 cards are going to be at a distinct disadvantage. <laughs> like, it doesn't... It kind, of, it kind of eliminates the skill people that don't, like, wail out, I guess. Um... Alright then, uh, rune set effects and skill stone effects will be applied. So, it tournament mode is a mode for people that spend money, uh, lots of money, which is fine. It's just, I thought tournament mode would be one of the most balanced modes when they have... Per, like, this is just me personally thinking, right? I would think the tournament mode would be a mode that allows everyone to compete on equal grounds, like arena mode, right? Uh, like, like the Brawl mode, really. Well, the Brawl mode's... We're gonna get into Brawl mode, but, you know, it's... It's basically, um... Everyone's level 10. Uh, Rune and Skill Stones won't apply. I mean, sorry, Skill Stones won't apply. And, uh... I think it's, like, the set effects for Runes will apply now. We'll, we'll, we'll read into it, but, yeah. I would've thought Tournament mode was gonna be the... Probably, like, the, the most fair one. And apparently it's just no different than Ranked, really. Right? It's like, well, you know, time will help other people catch up, obviously, right? Um, you know, low spenders, medium spenders, uh, and free-to-play. But, you know, it's looking like it's a Wales game, really. Like, tournament mode is just going to be whoever spends the most money for now until people eventually catch up in, I don't know, maybe half a year, I guess? I, uh, you know, at least, I'd say, at least half a year before... Uh, you know, other people have their units leveled up enough to even really properly compete. I mean, not properly compete, but they'll co they'll be competitive, right? Like, you know, you get up to, you get close to it. Uh, you know, Beretta's pretty good for the level disadvantage, stuff like that. But, you know, some, some units are okay that way. But, yeah, I just, you know, I personally, I thought that it would be the most fair mode. Um, all right, then. <laughs> uh, ban in pick mode. Uh, after matchup, you can ban up to two monsters of the opponent from battle. So, ban complete. So I think they, they, you ban the unit, and then you get to choose a different unit to put in there and then fix up your formation and stuff. Uh, world Tournament Ranking System. The world rankings are calculated based on the number of wins. If the number of wins in uh, is the same, the summoner with more uh, with a high number of stars earned will be ranked higher. If the number of wins and the number of stars are the same, they will be tied for the same place. Alright, so this it looks kind of cool. I, I kind of like the, the, the setup for this and stuff. Looks like you're going to want to get about 20 wins to get all these rewards, though. So, reward for winning the World Tournament. So, yeah, in out of, uh, what, five losses, you're going to want at least 20 wins to try and get all of these rewards, I suppose. <laughs> sounds That sounds kind of scary, right? Because, like, Arena is 10 wins, three losses. So, they, they haven't given you six losses. Like, it's essentially, you just have to keep winning, all right? But this time, it's not on even playing. It's not on an even playing field. It's uh, yeah. It, I mean, it's kind of more even. But yeah, I guess once more people hit level ten, we'll be good. You know, good people will be good to go. I suppose. 
Uh, summoners within a certain ranking in the final rankings of the World Tournament will be qualified to advance to the tournament to be held in the future, and details related to the tournament will be announced later. Now, I do like, we get a Legend card at 10 wins, uh, there's a normal Skill Stone at 2 wins, right? And there's Hero cards and Ancient Books at 18 and 20 wins. So, there you go. As long as you can hit 10 wins, I feel like, you know, 5, uh, you know, 5 losses to 10 wins like it's you know hopefully a lot of people will get that right at least you get your legend card uh number two brawl battle it's an event mode which will be held during season two it's not saying is it is it being held during season two or is it going to stay i think we could use some clarity there uh i assumed it means released because i don't know why they'd get rid of it after season two I mean, unless maybe they maybe they swap it to something else right or add something else in uh in brawl battle all monsters will be provided with no runes and skill stones see there you go uh monsters and spells whether you own them or not will be randomly provided among all monsters and spells the level will be fixed at level 10. brawl battle is located in dual mode and summoners who have achieved at least silver five can enter same as in normal battle you can earn stars and glory medals in brawl battle so completely so this this is what i thought uh tournament mode was going to be like where it's just like you know they give you monsters it's all the same level you know uh maybe they have runes but like you know in this particular battle it's like no runes or skill stones it's purely going to come down to uh <laughs> your unit deck selection and how well you use it basically or unit and spell selection right your formation uh composition and everything like that so let's see uh, how it works. For battle, you can play against other summoners without the burden of battle results. Uh, reward, you get glory medals and stars. So if you're not feeling like normal battles or ranked battle, you can do this to get your uh, to get your glory medals each day. So that'll be nice. Uh, number two, contents improvement. Number one, ranked battle and normal battle. So apparently the matchmaking logic has been improved so that summoners with similar victory points will be matched uh, together based on their current victory points. So I like personally, I've already noticed that it's <laughs> it's doing that really well lately. I'm just saying, like I seem to always be like in pretty, if not at the same level, like very close, right within a hundred victory points, if not twenty victory points, every time I try to battle someone, right? Uh, number two, barrier battle. Only the set effect of the rune will be applied, and the effect of the skill stones will not be applied. So this is a big change, okay? Uh, barrier. This is barrier battle and arena battle. So summoners with the similar victory points will be matched first based on their current victory points. Okay, so it's instead of um the the win streaking and stuff, it'll be based on uh victory points in your matches here. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if that means you can tank your rating in like ranked battle and then you can go to arena and fight a bunch of bronze players with your <laughs> with with your like super op tech i wonder if that's a thing because like if if we start we'll, we'll get to it but basically the rewards are being reset and yeah i i don't know i i i, I hope uh people don't do that i mean i would imagine most people don't want to do that because they want to get the end season reward right for ranked but i mean essentially if that's possible they could just drop their rank until the end of ranked and then do a bunch of rank and climb up really quickly <laughs> with their like newly acquired op monster deck that they got from farming like 10 out of 10 wins over and over i'm just saying like maybe uh anyways to be fair though it won't be like there won't be any more uh there will be rune effects but skill stones won't be applied so it does even out the playing field like it doesn't matter what rank you are um it's mostly going to come down to battle experience for the most part and how RNG you get on your card pools, all right? Uh, number three, arena battle. Same as in the barrier battle, only the set effect of the rune will be applied and the effect of the skill stone will not be applied. So this is a big change because at the moment, skill stones are pretty huge in arena and barrier battle. Um, so having this just be like the runes instead of the skill stones, it should, I don't know, it should be interesting to see um because it's going to change things up a little bit with like people using swift will uh vampire etc right uh summoners with a the similar victory points will be matched first based on their current victory points of course and you'll get one free arena battle entry every week by the look of it okay uh so definitely try it if you lose you lose but use up that free entry so that you get those cards all right 
Uh, number three, contents reward improvement. Number one, arena battle box. So this looks pretty sweet. A legend monster card and normal rare skill stone cards have been added to the arena battle box. So this this is sweet, right? So reward details. So in two wins, three types, you get the legend card and normal rare skill stone summon rate up. Well, I guess it's legend card rate up, and then the normal rare skill stone is also rated up. Okay, so they don't they're not always very good at explaining this, but I'm assuming that these are separate rate ups. Okay, so this is normal rare skill stone and then legend separately, not you know. The, not the legend card uh, rate up. I mean, legend card skill stone rate up because the you don't get legend skill stones in the arena battle box, right? So they, they've separated them. Okay. It just reads like maybe you get the the legend card as well as the you know the legend skill stones, but it's not. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Okay. Sorry guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, after six wins you get another rate up, and after ten wins another rate up. So this should be interesting. If you get ten wins and you can essentially farm legend cards i mean once we get some le like once people start getting their like level 10 legends things might become a little bit more even uh for for a little bit right like obviously uh maybe not for rank but for like world tournament at least right what i'm thinking is like it might be better to hold off on world tournament uh farm out arena right as much as you can and then upgrade your stuff okay try and get those level 10 units to uh, at least even yourself out a little bit, as well as the normal rare skill stones, because at the very least, having those, even if you don't have the heroic skill stones, uh, they're going to be a lot more helpful than having your units at level 10 with no skill stones, right? <laughs> uh, number two, victory point achievement reward. Uh, rewards for reaching 3,000 points or higher will be improved as follows, starting from season two. Summoners with 3,000 points or higher can get rewards again, starting from the 3,000 up rewards after the season score is reset. So my understanding of this is that all of us that are over um, 3,000 victory points, right? So from 3,000 on, these are going to be the new rewards, I believe, right? And they're going up to 6,000 points now because that's what... Uh, some of the whales and stuff have reached they're all over 6,000 and stuff, right? So you just keep going keep climbing get more rewards, right? Um, my understanding is that we will just automatically get everything From before 3,000 so once this all resets we'll just be able to come in here and collect all of this But if not Then maybe it's just a one-time thing, right? Like, I feel like there's, I guess there's probably a good chance that this is just a one-time thing. And then everything 3,000 onwards is going to be the thing that resets. So the rewards will reset every season from 3,000 onwards. And then everything before this uh, stays stock. Like, you never, this is a one, these are all one time. And then from 3,000 onwards would uh, reset. That's my understanding of what is likely to happen. I'm not saying this is 100% going to happen, but this is this is what I'm guessing is going to happen, basically. I'm, I'm trying to make an educated deduction here as to how they're, uh, they're doing this, right? Because uh, it says they're going to be improved, so... I mean, it does say we can... Yeah, see, so 3,000 points or higher, we can get rewards again starting from the 3,000 points. So there you go. Um... That should be cool though if they reset that every season it gives people a reason to try and climb the 6000 plus and that i guess i i wonder if we can actually drop below 3000 i haven't tried i know that we could before but i am curious if we can now like after this if we'll be able to drop below 3000 points maybe um let's see accumulated star reward so yep uh, the Kimbe Star Reward will now be available up to 200 times, starting from Season 2. So from 100 times to 200 times. 51st and up Repetitive Reward will be increased to 500 Mana Stones. Uh, 100 Mana Stones to 500. So that is these. That's these Star Rewards here. Okay? So these Repetitive Rewards now go up to 100. Or they will, I think. And then it's like... No, wait. Was it, 50? Was it still 50? Hang on. Uh... It's either up to 50 and then because they're improving the mana, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, so the accumulated reward is up to 200, right? From 100 to 200. Okay, so okay, we only get the we only get the core rewards that we all want up to 50 by the look of it, and then up to from 50 
well, 51 to 200 is all just going to be 500 mana stones each, okay? That, like, I'm kind of sad about that. I feel like that should be up to at least 100. I feel like they should just do it, like, continuously up to 200. But, you know, whatever. Mana is mana, right? Mana is mana. Now, uh, the TV cheer rewards. So, the crystal cheer failure reward has been changed. So, if you do fail to cheer, now you get a rare card instead of a normal card. I think that's a pretty sweet change, honestly. Now, here's the really good part, okay? New monster added, Sierra. Wind Legend has been added. Whew, this is sweet. So, her main skill, 4 mana cost, okay? She's a support. Uh, installs a bomb on the forefront enemy, so frontline unit. Uh, fast forwards the time to decrease the duration of all removal effects granted on all enemies and inflicts damage. So she's, she's a stripper. She strips the enemies, okay? Um, her first skill stone, so promise time installs two bombs on the forefront enemy instead of one. Uh, that's harmful effect. So the mana cost skill stone decreases the mana cost of promise time by one, which is pretty cool. That makes it three mana. And the one that I'm personally looking forward to, <laughs> that I'll probably never get, uh, Ominous Prophecy, passive, changes the beneficial effects granted on the target to continuous damage when using Promise Time. <laughs> the cooldown time exists. So that's going to be absolutely amazing for DOT teams, right? And the second unit is uh, Zibrota. He's only a normal, right? He's a fire normal, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, he's four mana cost, okay? Uh, his skill is Meteor Bomb, and he throws bombs at random enemies. Uh, not always totally reliable, but random enemies, right? Uh, increases, so his first skill stones, uh, damage, increases the damage of Meteor Bomb by 20%. His second one is Harmful Effect, Meteor Bomb attacks one more target. And his third skill stone, Bomb, is a passive, which I think this could be pretty fun. When you get defeated, jumps into the enemy line to inflict self-exploding damage that ignores defense on the forefront enemy. Now, I could see this being pretty cool. If you like put him at the back line at the end of the match, and then he just like suicide bombs what like one of the last two units that are trying to like giant worry you or something, <laughs> should it be kind of interesting? I think. Uh, number five, new effect added, which is bomb. Okay. Uh, now they haven't explained exactly what bomb does. I think it stuns, right? I think it. I think it uh, detonates, like uh, Nikki Bear, right? Except that it stuns when it detonates. It might not do as much damage either. Let's see, network improvement, alright, an incident of the skill not being activated instantly when using a skill has been improved, hopefully. Uh, network condition when playing a battle or moving between menus has been improved greatly. Uh, oh, improved generally. <laughs> May, I'd, I'd hope. I guess, I guess they mean improved in general, right, have been improved in general. I hope it's greatly. I mean, it's already pretty smooth still for me, I uh, imagine for some people it's not though. Uh, balancing. So, Giant Warrior. The function that reduces the card acquisition time of the monster that received the buff will be eliminated. So, you'll no longer get your card back really, really quickly, apparently. And I guess that'll help balance it out. I mean, only it's like one second or so between getting it back anyway. It's not... I guess we'll see, right? I guess we'll see. I don't know if that's the only balancing that needs to be done, but we'll see. Uh, number 8, Special Summon. Whew, yeah. This one I'm looking forward to. Special Summon, when you can summon new monsters with a higher chance will be added. The Special Summon will be available after May 27 maintenance and can be performed by using, I say, by suing the mystical books. <laughs> by using mystical books or crystals. So that's going to be a new section in the Summon section. I'm probably only going to summon on that. Like, when I get, well, when I'm not doing Arena, right? I'm probably only going to summon on that. <laughs> Because uh, that'll be pretty cool. I'd like, I'd really like to get Sierra. I really, really want something that strips buffs um, for my current comp. That isn't so hard, I guess. Now that I think about it, so hard is cool though. But I think I'd like Sierra more. Uh, let's see, number nine, new package. Diamond Master achievement packages have been added. Sierra upgrade package has been added, and Champion Summer package has been added. Number ten, new emojis added. So these look cool. I like these. Uh, these Sierra emojis, I like, she's just like, oh ho 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 ho, right? Sierra's like, oh ho ho ho. I think that's kind of funny. But what I really like is this Rakuni emote with the sleep. I, I love this sleep emote. I'm going to get that. I am straight up going to use gems to get that. Because, like, 
when it comes to like end game and you've got to fight like three healers and the guy's just not leaving and he just keeps spamming heals on himself i need this emote for that all right <laughs> like you know when when that last guy he's got like one water fairy left and he just keeps spamming water fairy and there's like 30 seconds left on the clock before we even get to exhaustion i just need this for that all right i need i need this emote um <laughs> i've been needing it for a while now so yeah uh number 11 other improvements so yeah the icon for glory tokens uh and oh okay so the icon for glory tokens has been changed so it can be better distinguished from the glory metal Apparently the Nikki's Teddy explosion effect has been changed. Not sure to what. Speed settings in the battle record, cheer and replay of Hall of Fame will be now be saved. So if you watch replay at times two speed, the setting is saved at times two speed until you decide to change it at times one speed in whatever replay it you're in, right? Uh, Alliance Vice Master can now expel Alliance members. That's in addition to accepting or rejecting membership of the Alliance. The max level monsters and spells will now appear in the request card list of the Alliance trading post and be sorted in order of grade and level. That's handy. That'll be nice. Uh, the rankings of top 100 summoners will be displayed on the matchmaking screen when being matched for ranked battle, broad battle, normal battle, goodwill battle. Okay, that's handy. That'll be the nice little uh, checklist on the side there, right? Uh, number 12, bug fixes. Number one, monster. So Coom uh, fixed an issue of the skill stone guardian of the scales not being activated when he gets defeated due to a skill that hits consecutively. That's fair. Uh, Perna fixed an issue of the next turn. How about fixing Coom's uh, insane <laughs> 2k plus heal to like double units? <laughs> uh, Perna fixed an, uh, fixed an issue of the next turn monster getting attacked instead when Perna gets attacked while being revived with the eternal passive skill. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I've encountered that a few times. It was kind of annoying. Uh, I guess it kept my opponent alive a little longer, though. <laughs> uh, Mav, fix an issue of being overlapped with other monsters returning to your original position after attack monster dies or revives while using the duty chain skill. I think we've gone over these bug fixes already in the last video. Uh, Mav, fix an issue of the target monster moving out of the battle map when being defeated while switching the position by using duty chain. I like the target monster moves out of the battle map. <laughs> <laughs> sounds funny uh i haven't seen it personally uh seek fixed an issue of the begin hunt skill stones passive effect not being activated intermittently uh Artemil added information regarding the cooldown time to the description of the archangel's mercy skill stone that's handy uh not for me because i don't have it though <laughs> ganymede added information regarding the cooldown time to the description of the rage for return skill stone okay fair enough um, number two, battle. Fixed an issue of the battle that ended in a draw, not being displayed as a draw in replay. Okay, that's fair. Uh, fixed an issue of the battle not counting as a defeat when leaving the battle during the arena battle. Okay. Uh, modified so that the battle counts as a defeat when forced closing the battle from the arena battle, barrier battle loading screen. Oh, so they haven't actually implemented that yet? Yeah, okay. I feel like, yeah. Okay, I've been getting scammed. Uh, number three, others fixed an issue of the information regarding magic crystal being exposed uh, as the information of the skill stone when requiring duplicate skill, sco skill stones and corrected a translation issue of lapis damage skill stone in some languages. Okay, yep. So uh, a lot of these we went over in the last one. Um, yeah, I thought they'd already implemented that arena battle thing. But uh, yeah, so there you go, guys. That's the patch. I, like I said, I'm really looking forward to the, the sleeping emoji. This one here is pretty cool too. Yay. I like I, I think I just like the Rikuni ones. These are pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to leave it there, guys. That's the patch. I'll be live soon. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting Sierra eventually. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just having a blast with some bombs. I will uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Hot.